Hello friends and welcome to this crochet tutorial on how I'll show you how to do the double crochet clover leaf. Most clover leaf stitch patterns are done with trebles. Mine is done with a double crochet. I will also show you how to change colors in the row so that you can make it with various colors if you choose. Pattern is very simple one row has interlocking to join one row of petals the second row is a very simple straight across come join me and i'll show you the secret on how to make this clover flower pattern come on let's get started the hook that we're going to use is an i9 5.5 millimeter and the yarn that I have is orange by Red Heart Super Saver. So I'm going to pull some off of my ball. I'm going to start with a short tail and place a slip knot on my hook. Let's start with chain five. One, two, three, four, and five. We're going to stick our hook into the first chain and close it with a slip stitch. So here we have a little ring. Chain three. This will count as a double crochet throughout the pattern double crochet into the ring. Let's place a second double crochet. Slide your work over. Then we're going to chain two and single crochet into the ring. This completes our first petal. This is our left side petal. Now we're going to do the right side petal of this particular clover flower. So let's chain two into our chain five ring, three double crochet. So here we have a left side petal and a right side petal. The chain five will always be the center of our little clover flower. So let's move on to our next clover flower. Chain three. I would like for you to pinch that top chain three. Chain five. This will create the center of our second clover flower. So slip stitch into that first of the chain five. Open your ring up just a little bit. Now for the three chains that we have, we're going to place a slip stitch in each one. Okay, you can bring your yarn over the top, turn your work, find the center of your chain five ring, and into that we're going to place two double crochet. This is another left side petal. Slide your work on the ring chain two, single crochet into the ring, and slide your work. Okay, so here's our left side petal. 
And here's our left side petal on our second clover flower. So now we're going to make the right side. Chain two, three double crochet. Now for this, as row one, you can make what we just did here as many times as you would like for either the width or the length of this particular clover flower pattern. When you get to the end of the row, let me show you how you would finish the right side petal after doing the left side. So let's chain three one more time, pinch the top, chain five, slip stitch into that first of the five, open your ring just a little bit, and slip stitch through the three, And remember to keep your slip stitches a little loose. You don't want them too tight. Now remember what I'm showing you here is to be at the end of the row, the very last clover flower. So after we've done that, we're going to place two double crochet. chain two, let's slide our work over, single crochet into the ring, chain two, okay now we've done our left petal but for the right petal at the end of the row, two double crochet not three. I'm going to show you why in just a second here. So here we have two. Now we're going to chain two and single crochet. If you were to do three double crochets, that would be saying that you wanted to increase on your row. But we want the petal to look like it's complete at the end of the row. So we single crochet, chain two. We are now heading onto row two on the way back. You're going to say, oh, this row is super simple. <laughs> okay, so two double crochet, and slide your work, chain two, single crochet. Now for this right top petal, this one's complete, okay? This will be the same for the whole row. And now for the next one will be the same for the whole row as well. So chain two, three double crochet. One, two, and three. Now trust me, you're gonna love this row. <laughs> So here's our little clover flower. If you're thinking it's close to a yo-yo, yes. I was looking originally to make a yo-yo, but when I found the clover pattern and it had the treble in it with the slip stitches, I was like, mm. so what? I'm changing it a little bit. <laughs> I'm planning on making a graph gan. So this is why I'm offering this to you as well help you to get a head start like it did me. <laughs> now, we've completed our third double crochet here. So now we're going to go and place three double crochets into the next ring. So, yarn over, place your finger on those loops, insert the hook into the other chain five ring, and yes, you will be bringing everything over. You want to maintain the same tension as if it was a regular double crochet. So here we have one. If you have to slide it over, do that. Notice how it pulls 
both of the petals to the center. There's one, there's two, and there's three. Okay, we need a total of four, so chain two, single crochet. This will give our fourth look of our petal. Now, chain two, three double crochets again, because we're going to be we're going to be going straight across. Like I said, this is going to be the easiest row. Okay, so this is what we have so far. Okay, so the next one. Yarn over, place your fingers on that, pull up a loop in the next chain five ring. Sorry, I was out of camera range. <laughs> okay, so there's one, two, and three. Chain two, and this is what we're going to be doing for our last of, the, of this particular row. So we chain two, now we single crochet into the ring, slide your work, chain two, and three double crochet. Now for those of you who do know how to do this clover stitch, stay with me. I think you're going to like what I come up with. All right, so here we have completed row one and row two. So you ready to move on? Let's start. Oh, well, actually, let's complete total of row two before we start row three. So for those of you who know how to stop here and start here, I didn't want to confuse everybody else. So each row will be completed as it's supposed to be. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to turn our work and in the back of each one of these we're going to do a back post slip stitch. And I know you're thinking, oh man, why didn't I think of that? Well, that's what crochet is about. It's all about creativity. So we're going to do three back stitch or back post slip stitch. Okay, so that put those chain stitches back there and left the front the same. Let me get you a close up here. The same as everything else. Okay. So now we're going to start row three. So we're going to chain two. Okay, and then we're going to chain three. The chain three here will be for our double crochet. The chain two will be going behind our work, and you'll see what I mean in just a second. So at the top of your chain three, go ahead and pinch it, and then let's chain five. So stay with me. <laughs> I'm going to take you through real slow, okay? So at the first of the chain five, let's close our ring off with a slip stitch. Okay, open our ring up just a little bit. Now we have five chains left. Slip stitch through three of them. Just like if our double crochet from the first set of petals here. So this will be as if it was our first double crochet. Okay. Now bring the yarn over your work. Leave that chain two back there. All right. Now into our chain five circle, two double crochet. Okay, 
and pull up a loop. Okay, now we're going to flatten it. So we're, what we're going to do here is we're going to take our work and turn it back so that this end of the petal will be right where it's supposed to go. So we're going to take our hook and right here where those two loops are, can you see those? We're going to insert our hook and you'll be doing this on every row at the end, okay, or the beginning pretty much. Pull it through and then make it just a little bit longer, okay? So that way the loop can come over. Chain two and single crochet into our chain five ring. Okay, so this is what we have so far. Okay, so this petal is now attached to this petal. So this chain two now is going to get attached to this petal over here. So let's chain two, pull up a loop, and into our chain two space, whoops, we have our two double crochets. This is the right top petal. Insert your hook, bring that loop through, okay, and this will pull it over. We're going to complete with three double crochet. All right. So once we straighten everything out, you can see, oops, let me get that loop out of the way, sorry. <laughs> once we straighten everything out, you can see how it's all going to fit right in. Okay, so let's start on to our next um, clover flower. So as we did here in row one, the only difference is going to be is how we have to bring the loop up to interlock our petals. So we're going to chain three, pinch the top of that chain three, chain five, slip stitch into the first of the five, Okay, and fix your circle there. Slip stitch through the three chains. Okay, and bring your yarn over your work and turn your work. Then double crochet into the ring two times. Okay, pull up a loop. Okay, now this, we're going to insert our hook. Okay, we've turned this upside down. So we're going to insert our hook onto the left between the double crochet and the chain two. We're going to pull that loop through. I made my loop a little too big. <laughs> okay, then stretch it out just a little bit so that it, it has a chance. If you have it up too tight, it won't look right. So if you give it a little bit, it'll work right there. Then chain two and single crochet into your ring. And then slide your work over. This completes the one petal. So let's make the right side petal. So let's chain two and then make this loop longer. Insert your hook into the top right in between the double crochet and the chain two. 
and pull your loop through. Then three double crochets into the chain five ring. Now, if this was very long, you'd be doing this all the way down. So you can see if we stretch it just a little bit, you can see how our clover pattern is starting to form just a little bit. So at the end of the row, we have our very last petal. That means we're going to chain three, pinch the top, chain five, slip stitch into the first stitch or the first chain, slip stitch through the three, You can bring your yarn over your work and turn your work. Two double crochet. Enlarge your loop. Okay, so I'll turn it this way. This is our left top petal. Let's insert our hook and bring our loop down. It may seem awkward right now because it's not locked in, but you'll find that once you lock it in, it fits just the way it's supposed to. So make your loop a little bit longer, chain two, and single crochet into the ring. Okay, so the right side of that lower petal, chain two, two, whoops, don't, don't, don't do that yet. <laughs> Lengthen your loop and then between the chain two and the double crochet, we want to lock that, that lower petal in. Okay, so we did the left side. Now we need to do the right side. Now we can go ahead and do two double crochet chain two and single crochet and this completes row three. Okay, and row four will be exactly as row two. So let's go ahead and do that. Chain two, two double crochet. This is the one on the end. Chain two, single crochet chain two. Now here's where our repeat begins. Three double crochet into the chain five ring. Okay, and then we're going to come across to the other side. Yarn over, place those fingers on the loop, and complete the double crochet for the other side. There's one, two, three, chain two, single crochet, chain two, three, double crochet. Looks like my ball of yarn has told me it's time to take some more off. So continue on to the end of the row and I'll meet you right here where we will do our slip stitch and then I'll show you how to change colors. So how'd you do? I know you made it with no problem. Single crochet, chain two, three double crochets, onto the next ring, three double crochets, chain two, single crochet. Oh, easy, easy row. I love easy rows. All right, so you remember how we ended this row down here at row two? Okay, this is a repeat of row two. So we're gonna turn our work, back post, slip stitch, and do three of those. So there's one, 
two, and three. Okay, and then turn your work again to the front. And chain two. This will go behind the stitch right here. Chain three is our first double crochet with slip stitch in it. Pinch the top of that. Chain five. Slip stitch into the first one. Okay, and open that ring just a little bit. Then slip stitch three times. Okay, and then turn our work. Two double crochet. Okay, and then pull up a loop. Okay, and remember those two right there. We're going to go through those two again. And pull our loop through. Chain two, single crochet, chain two. Now this time we're going into the right top petal and then three double crochet. Now I told you I was going to show you how to change colors. I think you're going to like this. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and cut my yarn with a little tail. Then I'm going to bring it back so that the double crochet is half done. And the reason why is because when we finish it, we want the new color to be the loop on the hook. Okay, so I have, let's see how the camera will do with yellow. Yeah, yellow will show up good. So I'm going to take a small tail here. I'm going to bring it across and finish that loop. I'm going to tighten this stuff up a little bit. And chain three. Are your gears and your bells and whistles going off now? <laughs> okay, so we've done our chain three, so let's pinch the top, chain five, slip stitch into that first of the five. Okay, open the ring. Seems funny when you start on a new color, doesn't it? Now, if you want, you can take the tail of the yellow and we can include that into our slip stitch here. Go ahead and go through the two, place the tail over the top of the hook, and that'll help lock it in with the, uh, the working yarn. Okay, whoops. Let's go over that one. Okay, and then one more time. Now don't cut your uh, tail yet because we're going to weave that in or go around the inside of the ring. All right, so yarn over the top, turn your work, and two double crochet. Now you can include the tail into that ring. One, two, Okay, let's pull up a loop. Now turn our work back around and on the left side in between the chain two and the double crochet. Let's pull our loop through and adjust it to the size we need. Okay, and then chain two and single crochet into that ring.
and go over the tail at the same time. Okay, and then chain two again, make a, your loop a little bigger, and then onto the right petal, into the chain two between the double crochet, pull your loop through again, adjust the size, and then three double crochet. Okay, now if you wanted to go back to the orange color, what we would do, do not cut the yellow here. We would go through those last two parts of the stitch. Okay. And bring in a new tail. And finish that stitch off. Okay, then chain three, pinch the top, chain five, slip stitch into the first one, and here's where we can go over that orange tail, slip stitch through the chain three, Okay, and then turn your work. And then two double crochets into the chain five ring. Pull up a loop. And I notice you're gonna be doing a lot of turning here. It's the end result we're looking for. <laughs> That's why I said it was going to be a little challenging. So here on the left petal, go in between the chain two and the double crochet, and then bring that loop through, correct the length of that loop, okay? Then chain two, single crochet into the ring, chain two, enlarge your loop, and we're going to go into the right side top petal here. Okay, adjust your, your loop so that you can see your work. And then, since we're at the end of the row, we're going to do two double crochet, chain two, single crochet into that chain five ring okay and slide your work you want it to be halfway okay this is what we have so far now do you remember what we're supposed to do now are you thinking row two that's absolutely correct so set your work down admire it a little bit I need to restart my camera because after 12 minutes it shuts off on me. Go GoPro, right? <laughs> so let's go ahead and if you want to get ahead of me and do row two on your own to see if you understand it, I encourage it. But I'm going to show you how to do it in just a second. All right, I'm back real quick. <laughs> All right, so let's finish our row two. Uh, well, actually, we're on row one, two, three, four, five. We're on row six, but we're going to be doing the same thing we did in row two. So we chain two, two double crochet, chain two, single crochet. Remember, this is for the last petal. Going through the middle and the rest will be the same as before. Okay, so chain two, and now we're going we're gonna to do three double crochet, but we're also getting ready for a color change. So what do we do? 
I'm going to go ahead and complete. Now you tell me, what do we do? Are we supposed to... Yes, we are. We're supposed to take out the last two of those stitches. Okay. Now, if we were going to be doing constant color changes, I would encourage you to use a bobbin. But for this, I'm going to go ahead and cut my yarn when we're done here. So, I'm going to get up my yellow. And I'm going to complete that row. I'm going to tighten my orange. And I'm also going to tighten my yellow just a little bit. Now, since we brought it over, we're going to also incorporate that into our next double crochet. So go under it. Well, let's see. There we go. <laughs> and then go through and then yarn over as if we were. Okay. We actually went through three loops, but you're supposed to go through two. There we go. Okay, and then we're going to pull that orange on the back and that'll tighten it up. So we have one double crochet. We need two more. Chain two, slide your work, single crochet, chain two, three double crochet. And as we did on the last one, we will do a color change. But I'm going to go ahead and do a complete double crochet so I don't lose my tension on my other stitches. And as I said before, if we had bobbins, we'd be using uh, bobbins to uh, carry on with our colors. Okay? So I'm going to go ahead and take out the last two parts of our stitch. Now, if you were doing this on your own, you wouldn't be going through all this. This is mostly for video work, okay? And since we're here at the end of this row, I'm going to go ahead and cut the yellow so I don't have more yarns in here to confuse you than what I have. Okay, and so this one, I can go ahead and just pull it through. Tighten up the yellow. Okay. So, I'm going to go over both of those. And I'm going to hold that yarn down. And that helped locked in our orange for everything here too. So that's one double crochet. We need two more. chain two, single crochet. That completes our right top petal. You can see some of my tails here twisting around on me. <laughs> okay, let's chain two, three double crochets, and this will complete our row. Let me go ahead and cut this and we'll finish it off. All right. So, of course, you can see our once you stretch it out a little bit, because if it's made into a blanket or a scarf, you can definitely tell it's going to get loved. And it will stretch out so that you can see the clover pattern. So, I hope you enjoyed this little adventure. Um, this is my little stitch along for this time. Uh, if you do follow me on uh, YouTube, I do plan on making an afghan from this. So, if you understand this process, doing the blanket will not be hard at all. I love row two because it's simple and quick. 
and uh, row one, just a matter of hooking to the left pedal and to the right pedal so that you can have that interlock look. So thanks for joining me. I hope you make a scarf or a handbag, poncho, whatever you would like to make from it, whatever it is. I hope you show it to me. My name is Garnet. I have a Facebook page, Garnet is a Jewel, as well as the YouTube channel, Garnet is a Jewel. If you like what I do, please subscribe. I do a lot of things from uh, construction work <laughs> to crochet, cooking, and everything else. Till next time. Bye-bye.